Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another ClickFunnels quick tip. And today what we're going to do is we're going to have something. A guy reached out to me and had a question about how could he swap out an image on Hover. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I already have some code put in, and I'll show you that code in a minute. But the very first thing we need to do is we need to come into this element right here. And we need to come down, we need to click on the little code icon, the one with the, uh, the uh, carrots and the slash in the middle. So we're going to come down here, and what we want to do is we want to generate an ID for this image right here. We could type in a name if we wanted to, but in this case here, we're just going to use what ClickFunnels gives us, which is the generic um, uh, ID that we're going to be able to generate right here. And then what we want to do is we want to click here, and we want to copy that. And I thought I had to click on an update, but I guess not. And so now let's go and take a look at the code I already had started in here. And what we're going to do, like I said, is when we hover over the image, we're going to swap it out with another image. And here's the basic code that you need. And we're going to say, in this case here, when we hover over a div with the ID of all that nonsense you see right there, when we hover over actually the image part of that, the IMG part, which is the inner part of the image itself. So when we hover over it, we want something to happen. But then when we hover back off of it again, we want it to go back to the state it was already in. So we're saying again up here, we're going to hover over the image portion of this image element. And then the this is the equivalent of us having copied this up top and put it in this place right here where it says this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to swap out the attribute, which is the URL for that actual image. So the first thing we have to do is find the image we want to go to, and then we also have to find the image we want to go back to. Because once we change that attribute, we have to change it back again, or it's not going to know uh, which image to go back to. So in this case here, let's just open this up. And whichever one we do first doesn't matter. Here's the one that we're going to go back to. So I clicked on it. Oops, I did not want to click on it. What I want to do is come in here and click on these three dots and edit the image. And then right click on this and I'm going to say copy the image address. So we got the image address. We can kill this. Now we can go back into our code and we're going to paste that in here because this is the one we want to go back to. So we're starting here, we're going to change it, and then we're going to come back to this one right here. And then uh, we can save that real quick, and then we're going to bounce out of here, and we're going to go right back into this image again, and we're going to say, okay, which one do we want to change this to? Now, if you're thinking to yourself, I have the images somewhere other than inside of ClickFunnels, that's great. Go to that image, right-click on it, find the image address, and it'll work the same way. So let's just say we want to change to this one here. We click on the three dots, we say edit the image, we right click and we copy the image address. Now you're saying to yourself, well, why can't I just click on the first image here? And I've tested that in the past and it doesn't give me the right image or something. I, I just remember it did not work. So I'm not even going to try that. So we'll just open this up. We're going to plunk in our uh, URL right there. We're going to X out of here. We're going to save it. And now if I did everything right, we're going to click on the eyeball. And as we come in here, it swaps out just like that. And you might say to yourself, well, how can I have it happen so that it, like one fades in as the other one's fading out? Well, that gets a little more difficult because then we'd have to put in a fade and we'd have to try to fade them over the top of each other. And I don't even know if that would even work. There's other really fancy stuff you could do, whereas you hover in like this, you could actually have one of the images flip over and the other cat image is on the other side of it. That's a cool effect as well, but that's for another video. So if you've got any questions, just let me know.